Good morning, y'all. I see some John Deere green behind me. So, turns out we got quite a bit done last night. I see a couple of spots that need a little bit of touch up. Otherwise, it looks pretty nice, I'd say. The stakes need a little bit of work on the inside, but I think that's a job for a rattle can because I just can't really get my big spray gun in there. One thing that I do have a bit of an issue with here, if I can find it, is uh, we are pretty much out of green. So that's a bit of a problem. There's a little bit down there in the bottom. So we're going to see if we have enough to finish the uh, other side of this axle here. It's got a couple spots on this side that I think I'm going to quick touch up with some spray. Yeah, I'd say it'd be pretty much done. I'm hoping to have this whole thing put back together like tonight. It's currently about 1030 in the morning. So hoping about eight, nine o'clock tonight, everything will be dried down and we can put it back together. So, wow, that came out pretty nice. The, uh, the back side of this axle looks pretty good to me. There we go, with the help of the rattle can, I was able to pretty much finish this thing. So I ran out of paint on the big sprayer, unfortunately. So time to get that cleaned out and at some point get another quart of John Deere green. But uh, otherwise, I finished up the last little bit with that rattle can and it looks okay to me. I wasn't really surprised. So I was gonna go ahead and paint all the uh, nuts and bolt. And um, I mean, this isn't obviously the ideal way to do it, but I'm just realizing that these are gonna get chipped up over time very easily and this paint chips off pretty easily so probably won't paint all the nuts and bolts i don't know we'll put the hardware on see how it looks and uh if i decide that it should be green then we'll figure out a method there but right now the main goal is just to get this friggin thing out of this space because it's in the way um and the lumber is as well and that canoe and those tree stands over there and we want to get this whole barn cleaned out under here so that we can park vehicles in here and use it for its intended use because it's really not supposed to be a uh, restoration area. That's just where it became convenient to do it at the time. So yeah, I'm going to let this stuff dry off. We're going to see how it really turns out. Any touch-ups that need to be done will be done then. I'm going to go see if I can get some new tires put on those wheels because I saw FedEx down the road today and FedEx is who was supposed to be delivering my tires today so if they're there then uh, i'm gonna go load up some wheels and tires and run to the tire shop well y'all the new skinnies are here and they are skinny they are skimpy little tires but this is what it's supposed to need so seven and a half by 16 sl so these are supposedly 16 inch wheels and i mean they are pretty scrawny little wheels so supposedly this is what i really need to put on it we'll uh We'll see how it works out. And the nice part about buying these from Simple Tire is as long as I don't mount them, which uh, they may or may not know if they were mounted, um, I can ship them back if they don't work out for me. So yeah, if we've got to, that's what we will do. All right, it is a dreary, awful looking morning here, but we're out here at the wagon, which I'm hoping to have finished so that we can move some round bales with it this week. The tire shop did not finish the tires yesterday. Kept having vehicles showing up that needed actual work done on them, so those took precedent. They did not get my implement tires done. So we're waiting on those. They said they'd have them ready this morning, but I'm gonna wait till this afternoon to run back up there and take a look because uh, I want to give them time to actually get it done and I don't want to waste another trip up there. I've been up there. This will be my fourth time. So they don't have a, a phone or anything. This is just a little hole in the wall shop in town that does them for real cheap. So I don't need anything fancy done. I'm going to have to respray the wheels in some yellow. I already know that much because uh, I saw some of the work that they were doing in there on them and uh, they had chipped them up pretty bad. So not a big deal. Just uh, put some yellow spray back on them and clear coat them and they'll be good as new. But uh, the base coat's done. So this morning, 
I started taking all the I started taking all the tape off everything that I taped off the grease circs and dust covers and all that fun stuff. I might put new grease circs on. I don't know. I mean, if these ones work, then what's the point? So we'll see there. I did have a couple of places that when I was maneuvering this thing around to paint on both sides of it. Um, it had gotten chipped up, so I had to respray the back axle here in one spot. And like right here, this is actually a little bit light looking, so I might go back in and respray right there just a little bit. That's what I'm doing right now. So I got some watermarks here trying to bubble up, so that's no fun. I'm just respraying a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is try and start reassembling this thing. Not gonna be fun to do with, uh, with no tires or wheels, but I'm gonna reassemble it as much as I can. Put the stakes back on and put the reach pole in the middle and put the draw bar back on the front. And uh, hopefully this afternoon, I'll just take my jack stand and jack it all up and uh, throw some wheels on it and we can get it moved out of here because we need this area cleaned up. So I do know that I've got a wheel bearing that's going out. Uh, this one over here, it's been hard to turn for a while. And now this morning, I can't get it to turn like at all. So that's no fun. So. I am going to repack all these bearings, which I might do today, and that might be in this video. So I got, I bought a little handy packer. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, this little device right here. So you put your bearing down there in the bottom and you just push down and it'll uh, put the grease through. So that's pretty neat. That'll make uh, doing wheel bearings much easier. So we'll get that done hopefully soon because I'm sure that wheel bearing will have to be replaced, but the rest of them, I'm just going to try and repack. So. I don't even know what type of cone wheel bearings go in these things, so probably gonna have to pull it apart, go to tractor supply, see what they've got, and if they don't, then uh, go to AgPro. They're done. So they got the uh, the nice new implement tires mounted on these wheels. And I'll tell you what, these are some skinnies. They look skinny, but they look like a perfect fit. So I'm very pleased. As expected, the tire shop kind of did a number here on my wheels. And uh, yeah, fresh paint, a um, couple days old and, and a tire shop do not mix. So the wagon looks a little bit different than the last time y'all saw it. Looks like a real wagon now. And we can look straight down the pole now. And uh, I'd say it's pretty straight. I mean, I'm I'm pleasantly pleased with, uh, with the work that that shop did on the pole. So I think it's straight enough. I don't think anybody will notice it once the deck's on here. So we are going to go ahead and uh, try and put these wheels back on here. And then I'll go back in and do any touch up work that I need to on the wheels with a rattle can and some sandpaper and whatnot. So I'm going to see about getting all four of these wheels mounted and we'll be able to move this thing out of here then. Well, excuse the squinty eyes, it's a little bit bright out today and I don't know where my hat is right now. 
But behind me is our pretty much completed wagon. Or running gear, I should say. It doesn't really have a wagon on it yet. So I tried to record most of the process yesterday, getting these wheels put on and all that sort of stuff. Everything back together, but I feel like I did kind of a shoddy job doing that. But we are back together and fully operational. So a couple keynote things here that still need to be completed are um, the wheel bearings need to be repacked, which... Uh, fixing to do right now before it gets way too hot out here which it's pretty hot already this morning um we need to get this new stake on over here that's missing so still waiting on the dealership to get that in for me and as soon as it shows up I'll throw it on um this whole thing needs to be clear coated i know i had mentioned that all the scuffs and marks on the wheels and they still bother me looking at them from here but um, mom and I were talking about it and once we've got a 16 foot deck on this thing hanging out two feet off the back and you won't be able to tell. You won't be able to see them under there. And the exterior of the wheels isn't all that bad. The, uh, the tire shop really only nicked them up on the insides. There's a couple of spots in here but you know over time uh, these are going to get beat up anyways running through the woods hitting sticks dragon stuff who knows so it's probably not worth the time to uh to clean them up honestly um and they they look pretty good as it is from the from the 20 foot angle as you're walking up this thing you can't tell there's anything wrong so it doesn't really matter to me i suppose um i'm sort of a neat freak when it comes to stuff like that um excuse the language but i don't like to half-ass things plain and simple but um, this one is probably probably not worth all the time to go back in and touch up all these uh, wheels. So we're going to leave those, I think, as much as it bugs me. It's, uh, it's just not worth the time. So yeah, that's, that's where we're at there. So we need to clear coat this whole thing, bearing the, uh, the temperature and the humidity. That's the big thing right now, is uh, my clear coat bottle. I learned this the hard way. Specifically states to not apply at over 65% humidity um, and not above 90 degrees. And I made the mistake of doing it when it was like 91 out and the humidity was like 87, 88% uh, something like that a few days ago on the tires or on the wheels before I had brought them to the tire shop and a bunch of spots they all spider webbed and cracked out and everything else so don't want to ruin my paint job on this thing so right now we're just waiting for it to be below 90 degrees outside and below 65 percent humidity which i think this afternoon once it's kind of dried out and this hot hot sun's been out for a while it'll be somewhere under 65 percent humidity and below 90 degrees so um yeah we'll get some clear coat on today after we've gotten our clear coat on we get to do the part that i've been the most antsy for we get to put all our logos on so we have got an era accurate john deere logo that's going to go where it was supposed to right here in this front corner is where they had it placed um originally so we're gonna put one right there to add our own special little touch i'm gonna put our logo on this side caddy corner to the john deere one that's gonna be over there on the back in big yellow letters um, this is actually the correct font and size and everything. I was able to find it on eBay. Fuel Graphics, if you want to look them up, a little shout out, um, is a big John Deere logo like this. So, yeah, that'll go on the back axle right there. And one more logo or decal, I should say, that I don't have that I'm going to see about getting 
is right here on this wagon. There was a parts and service decal for, I'm not sure which dealership this thing was sold at way back in the day, but the original parts and service contact this dealer decal was sitting right there. I think I got a picture of it. Yeah, so there it is. Might be kind of hard to see, but that's what it looked like on the wagon. And you could tell it said parts and service with the John Deere logo and supposed to be somebody's dealership name. And I actually found somebody else who had one of these on their piece of equipment. That's what it looked like. So that's what it would look like. And it would have whatever name of whichever dealership it was sold from. So I'm going to go to AgPro when I pick up this stake back here. And ask them if they have anything like that, a little parts and service decal. And if they don't, if they would like to provide me with a decal of their choosing that would fit there, I'd be happy to apply it and give them a little bit of promotion on my wagon. So, figured that might be kind of cool to do. But right now, we're going to go ahead and start packing these wheel bearings because I can feel the sun beating down on me more and more by the second. I think it's like in the low 80s now, and it's supposed to get like 88 today. So should be under 90, though, so we could put the clear coat on. So, uh, yeah, let's get started on these wheel bearings. This ought to be fun. <laughs> 